Here before me today is an absolutely stunning, award-winning American long rifle by Leonard Reedy in our upcoming August Premier Firearms Auction. This rifle won the Kentucky Rifle Association's Best Relief Carved Rifle Award in 2006, and you're about to see why in a few minutes here. But let's take a look at the rifle overall first. So as you can see, this is a classic American long rifle or Kentucky rifle. You know, starting at the front, the rifle is around 45 caliber. It is rifled, it's not a smooth rifle. It's got a traditional silver blade front sight. And then as you move back, we've got a dovetailed notch rear sight like most Kentucky rifles are gonna have. Um, the barrel itself is a little underneath 44 inches. So again, relatively typical for a long rifle of this period. Um, you've got a nice flint lock. The lock is tripped by adjustable double set triggers. We've got a nice silver wrist escutcheon here and then this stunning engraved patch box. What really sets this rifle apart is the carving. This rifle won the Best Relief Carved Rifle Award in 2006 at the Kentucky Rifle Association. And you can see why. If you take a look, there's some, you know, nice carving up here around the barrel tang, but on the left side of the buttstock, it, it's really quite stupendous. And if you take a look at it, we've got scroll carving, we've got some incised and raised relief carving going on. We've got it coming underneath this cheek piece. There's a distal fink inlay on the cheek piece itself. And then back here, we've got some beautiful carving. This was one of the things that really helps identify this rifle firmly as a Leonard Reedy rifle. You know, you can see other Reedy rifles in you know, Joe Kendig Jr.'s books and some of the other classic books on American long rifles. And this is very in keeping with those other known Reedy rifles. You can also compare this rifle to the example in the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And that should tell you something about Leonard Reedy. I mean, he is one of the master artisans of the golden age of American long rifles. He was active mainly in the very early 19th century. I believe he died in 1837. And you can see this rifle has carryover from the colonial era, but it also represents the really high-end, exquisite high art that the Kentucky rifle became in the post-war eras as these rifle makers work to distinguish themselves from one another. So this beautiful Kentucky rifle by one of the master artisans is just one of several really high-end American long rifles in our upcoming August premiere sale. So definitely take a look at our catalog. You can get all the other details on this rifle and the other ones. And you know, you can buy and own this beautiful work of art by Leonard Reed.